Welcome again as we gather midweek that we might be together during this time. Take a moment of respite to be still and be present with each other across time and space and with God. We are one people who come to this time and place that we might stop and listen and reflect that God is one and that we are God's and God lives in and among us. Welcome. Our passages for today are about the great commandment that we love one another. In Deuteronomy, we read what is the Hebrew version of the Lord's Prayer. It's called the Shema. The Lord is one. Shema Israel, Eloheinu Adonai, Eloheinu Ahad. This is the Hebrew version of the Lord's Prayer, in a sense. Every Hebrew, every Jew learns the Shema as a child. Then in Mark, the same passage, passage is quoted and expanded upon. Jesus often takes a familiar text from the past and then takes it beyond its original meaning that has been somewhat frozen, perhaps, and he makes it larger. So let us begin by taking a deep breath and being together in a time of silence. So then from Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, hear these words. Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the ordinances that the Lord your God charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and his commandments that I am commanding you, so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently so that, you may, so that it may go well with you, and so that you may multiply greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a front on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God.
from Mark's 12th chapter. Hear these words. One of the scribes came near and heard him, and disputing with one another, and seeing that he had answered them well, he asked him, which commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answered, the first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, you shall love the neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, you are right, teacher, you have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all our heart, with all the understanding and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as one's self. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any questions. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. As we begin this time of prayer together, let us open with a time of silence and you may offer your own prayer in the silence of your own home. And then we'll join together in a closing prayer and benediction. Be in prayer. Gracious and loving God, you are one, and we are one with you. Remind us each day as we go about our day that we are one with you and you are one with us. Help us to remember that all are our neighbors, no matter what color they are, no matter how they worship or who they love. They are our brothers and our neighbors and our sisters and our neighbors, and we are one in you. Remind us that you are the one who calls us to love everyone and to be loved. Gracious God, it's so often so hard, and the hardest one sometimes to love is ourselves. Heal us of all judgment, heal us of all bigotry, and especially the judgment we turn on ourselves. Gracious God, you are one, and in you we find our life, our life and our meaning. Through Christ we pray, amen. Friends, be one with yourself, one with those around you, one with your family, and trust in God now and always to be present in your life and to live and move through you. Amen. Go in peace. 